Hello everyone and welcome back to Ravi Snippets Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes Today we look at how to solve a problem with people who use a uh, railing to create cornicing in Revit So, as an example, well, let's look at this room over here This room there, I have cut it away to show it in 3D as well So, as you can see, it's a typical living room and on the ceiling there, there's a running cornice all around the room's boundary Now, you may be thinking, why this wasn't modeled as a wall sweep? Is that what it's supposed to be? And the answer is yes and no Sometimes it's best if you can use wall sweeps Especially if that offers all the things you need for this functionality But actually, there are times where that's not sufficient well, firstly, wall sweep is a bit hard to use. Sometimes they don't dream well. Sometimes they don't enjoy well, enjoy well. And most importantly, they don't follow sloping lines. So if you have this wall here, that is higher on this end and lower on the other end. And you want to have a sweep going along that sloping edge, you can't use wall sweep on that one. You need to resort to using railing. So this is for people who use railing for modeling cornicing. It looks and works fine most of the time But the only problem is this You cannot show railings like these in ceiling plans Not by default So if I go here to the floor plan And make a ceiling plan for the same room It's going to be based off level 1 living room And let's change the view range so we can see our problem For anyone a bit new to view range, you can go and click on this show button here yeah, See a good demonstration of it There are four plans you need to pay attention to The top plan number one The cut plan number two The bottom plan number three And the view depth plan number four Now keep in mind, this image applies to floor plans, not ceiling plans For ceiling plans, the order changes a little And this is what I can show here using my very limited Photoshop skills this is where you have the plan number 4 has to be up there for ceiling plans so view depth is there for ceiling plans and it's there down below for floor plans for ceiling plan the trick to display railings is this you need to make sure the railing stays within this zone here from plan number 1 to plan number 4 number 1, 2, 3 all have to be below the railing and number four will need to be above it, above the railing. Let's see. let's see how we can make that happen. The easiest thing is this: you need to make a section through the room to get the dimensions required. I have made it here, so I can just open it. That's our cornicing modeled as a railing, and that's the height from its bottom to the level, and that's the height to its top to the level. We need to make sure plane number one, two, three is is below this line and plan number 4 is above this line let's make it happen now if I go back to my ceiling plan and change view range one more time number 1, 2, 3 up here let's put them at 2200 way below 2450 that we saw in the section make sure they assign they can assign to the same level as the other two so this top plan here has to be based off the same level level 1 living room and for view depth it has to be above the railing remember and has to be based off the same level so we can have this as maybe 2700 if you want to be tight or just for safety I'll make it 3 meters looking good I can click OK and there you have it that's your railing that's your cornice as, as a railing showing up in your ceiling plan just like any other elements and that should save the problem for a few people so have a try for yourself see how that works and I'll see everyone in the next video